Welcome to April 2012. It's National Poetry Month here in the United States, and you should check out my friend Rachel Bunting's blog, if for no other reason but that I love her, and you should read her poems. You should definitely buy her chapbook. And she's not even paying me to say that. As Rachel says in her blog today, it's kind of like Christmas for poets. I mean, we decorate, we've got posters we put up. I mean, there's this whole, like, National Poetry Day poster with a, with a quote from Philip Levine. Uh, you've probably been seeing it everywhere, unless you don't read poetry blogs, and then you haven't. The only difference about this month and December, nobody ever gives me gifts for National Poetry Month. I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, it was kind of fun. It was a great exercise. I, I really, I don't want to commit myself to doing that again. After all, William Stafford, uh, they say he was writing a poem a day about the time he died. And I thought, that's not a good sign. I am going to do a reading a day for the 30 days of April, including today. Uh, 30 readings, 30 days for National Poetry Month. Let me know how you're celebrating. Here's reading number one. When I Met My Muse by William Stafford I glanced at her and took my glasses off. They were still singing. They buzzed like a locust on the coffee table and then ceased. Her voice belled forth and the sunlight bent. I felt the ceiling arch and knew that nails up there took a new grip on whatever they touched. I am your own way of looking at things, she said. When you allow me to live with you, every glance at the world around you will be a sort of salvation. And I took her hand.